Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, after a decent day, we actually topped out at 71 degrees earlier this afternoon. Clouds taking over, really not much in the way of precipitation yet, other than a, a sprinkle here and there. But it's going to be out next, say, couple of hours. It, it looks fine in terms of any heavy rain. We don't see it yet. Cloudy skies in Newport with uh, pretty good visibility, so another verification that there's no steady rain. However, that should be reserved for later this evening and especially during uh, the overnight hours. Temperatures now in most areas, low 60s, clouds taking over in Narragansett it as well, along with the cooler temperatures compared to several hours ago. Look at the highs today. Enough uh, partial sun through the cloud cover to get us up into the lower 70s. Now we are significantly cooler next couple of days, especially tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's high is only mid to upper 50s compared to 71. I'm going to throw in some rain tomorrow, especially during the morning. Upper 50s to 62 in Providence now, 58 Newport Taunton checking in at 59 and our friends in New Bedford 61. So it's a fairly active weather pattern tracking multiple systems that will pass through with some showers or some rain at times. And again, trending cooler next couple of days. And then, of course, the seven day features Mother's Day weekend. We'll talk about that in just a second. Clouds have taken over and you do see some steady precipitation out towards Connecticut. So, so far, uh, Rhode Island, southeastern Mass has been mostly just a few sprinkles here and there, but this moisture off to our west arriving later this evening and during the overnight. So what will happen is the coverage of the precipitation and the intensity will start to pick up, especially after midnight. So we're tracking this red and blue line right in here. It's called a stationary front and it'll almost act like a train track where waves of moisture will ride along it. So we, we time each one. So there's one coming through tonight tomorrow morning up until noon and then another one on this track uh, tomorrow night into portions of Wednesday. We, we don't really don't see any all day dry weather or all day sunshine until Thursday. Hour by hour forecast. Here we are at midnight. Notice the coverage starts to increase, uh, taking you through to tomorrow morning, 7 to 8 a.m. A wet commute, a rain likely temperatures in the 50s, not much higher than that. There may be some lingering leftover showers early in the afternoon, but they start to push away. And even though the rain ends by early afternoon, we stay cloudy and cool all day long. Highs only mid and upper 50s. Tomorrow evening we're dry, and then here comes the next train on the track with more rain later tomorrow night and into Wednesday. So for tomorrow morning, rain likely, especially during the early morning temperatures in the lower 50s. And then during the afternoon hours, it's mainly cloudy, much, much cooler. It starts to dry out mid to late day, but it remains overcast the better part of the day. Showers likely on Wednesday, 62. Finally, Thursday, some sunshine. Friday, Saturday, and Mother's Day, Sunday. These are not rain days or washouts, but rather the chance for spotty showers. Look at the chances, only about a 20 to 30% chance. And right now, granted, it's six days down the road, Mother's Day, Sunday, but right now the timing is that we're keeping the daytime dry on Mother's Day, Sunday, and the chance for showers at night. Check back six days out. Temperatures over the weekend, just slightly below average between roughly 63 and 65. But Mike and Shannon, keep the umbrellas on standby next couple of days, even though it's fairly dry right now. All right, Tony, thank you. Come